Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of linear equations in one variable, we shall be taking few word problems related to integers. So let's start. The first question is, the difference between two positive integers is 30. The ratio of these integers is 2 is to 5. Find the integers. Now always remember whenever we have to solve such questions related to integers and the ratio is given to us like over here in this question ratio of these two integers is 2 is to 5. So we shall start the solution with the ratio that is 2 is to 5. We will assume let the first integer be 2x and second integer be 5x and then we shall move to the difference between these two positive integers which is given to us 30. So the difference is equal to 30 so we can say 5x minus 2x is equal to 30. So this is the linear equation which we will solve now. So 5x minus 2x is equal to 3x is equal to 30. x is equal to 30 divided by 3 that is 10. So the value of x has come 10. So we can say the first integer that is 2x is 2 into 10 which is 20. Second integer is 5x that is 5 into 10 is equal to 50. Right, so the two positive integers which we have got is 20 and 50. You can check also 50 minus 20, the difference is 30 and the ratio is also 2 is to 5. So this is how we can check also whether our answer is correct or not. Right, now let us take up second question. The first question is the sum of two positive integers is 105. The integers are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Find the integers. So this is same as question 1. The only difference is in question 1 we were given the difference between the two positive integers and over here in question 2 we are given the sum of the two positive integers. Now again the ratio is given 2 is to 3. So we shall start with the ratio. Ratio is 2 is to 3. So let us assume first integer be 2x and second integer be 3x. And the sum of these two integers is 105. So we can say 2x plus 3x is equal to 105. 2x plus 3x is 5x which is equal to 105. So x is equal to 105 divided by 5 that is 21. So value of x has come 21. So we can say the first integer which we have assumed to be 2x right is 2 into 21 that is 42 and second integer which we have assumed to be 3x is 3 into 21 which is equal to 63. So the two positive integers are 42 and 63. You can further check also 42 plus 63 is 105 and if you divide 42 by 21 and 63 also by 21 that is the common divisor so you will get 2 is to 3 as the ratio so this is how we can check also right the third question is 24 is divided into two parts such that 7 times the first part is added to 5 times the second part makes 146 find each part that means you have a number say 24 you have to divide it into two parts let us say the first part is x the so other part will be 24 minus x now they are saying 7 times the first part 7 into the first part that is x is added to that means plus 5 times the second part second part is 24 minus x and together they make 146 right so their sum is 146 so this is what we have to do let the first part be x and the second part be 24 minus x right so we can say the sum of both 7 times the first part and 5 times the second part is equal to 146 Basically, they are saying when 7 times the first part is added to the 5 times of the second part, your sum is 146. Now, we have to solve it. 7x plus 5 into 24 is 120. 5 into minus x is minus 5x is equal to 146. Now, 7x minus 5x 
is equal to 146 minus 120. Now 7x minus 5x is 2x. 146 minus 120 is 26. So x is equal to 26 divided by 2 that is 13. So the value of x has come 13. Now the first part was x. So we can say the first part is 13. And the second part is 24 minus 13 that is 11 because it was 24 minus x so it is 24 minus 13 which is 11 now you can check also 13 plus 11 is 24 right so 24 has been divided into two parts the first part is 13 and the second part is 11 right so this is it hope you have understood these questions related to integers Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a great day ahead.